Today we're going to do something a little bit different. It's really cold. I've been stuck in the house for a long time and I just needed to get outside. And I didn't want to have to split any wood today because everything's covered with snow and it's like zero degrees. But I thought what we would do is, you're going to love this, some cannonball experiments. As you know, I take all the powder out of all my uh, shells, my Civil War artillery shells and cannonballs and all that kind of stuff. And what you have left inside is just a hollow interior with absolutely no danger whatsoever. But, guess what? Sometimes I save the powder, the black powder that's inside these things. And I have a batch that I did back in 2007 or 2008. And I saved it. So I have about 10 samples, maybe 8 samples, I don't know. We'll check it out though. Of black powder that has been sitting in my basement, nice and dry, for almost a decade. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to take a little sample from each pile of black powder and we're going to test it to see if it will burn because normally it doesn't burn. You know, after the black powder has been sitting in these shells for 150 years and it's been exposed to water, the black powder decomposes and it, it just turns into something that is no longer really black powder. Now, maybe you could grind it back up and it would work again, but we're not going to do that because I want to show you what the powder is like today in the shells. So it's not as dangerous as people think it is, but yeah, it is dangerous because there's other things that can go on with the shell to make it explode if you tamper with it. So don't be drilling into shells or throwing them in fires or anything like that. But let me show you right now what the powder looks like after 150 years of sitting inside the average Civil War shell. Here is my sample container with the black powder from a bunch of different shells. And as you can see, it varies quite a bit. What you have here is powder that looks almost like dirt or rust. But you have some darker stuff, which I suspect will be a little bit more volatile and might, you know, light. Might catch on fire. I'm not sure. But you see how it's kind of chunky and whatnot. Again, if we reground this, it might be a little bit more sparky and explodey. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to use what comes out of the shell, just like it comes out of the shell. This is kind of cool over here. See this yellow stuff? This is sulfur. This black stuff? This is pitch or a tar. What they did is they used this as a matrix inside the cannonballs where they had the little round balls that would fly out like pieces of shrapnel. That's pretty cool too. And when you burn this stuff, it has a really, really strong odor. And I imagine that's what a Civil War battlefield would smell like. It's a burning sulfur and burning pitch from the shells because it's just is very very pungent and very strong. Anyway, let's get to it and we'll try some of these samples. Okay, let's go ahead and start with a lighter colored one. I think this is probably going to be the least reactive. We'll just get a little bit on a spoon here just to kind of show you. I'm going to put it on this old axe. There we go. All right, let me fire up the old torch. All right, here she goes. Cover your eyes, boys. Ready? Mmm. Smoking. I think that's all we're going to get out of this one, huh? Yep, see? Not explosive at all, but I can smell the sulfur in it. Alright, let's try another one. Alrighty. We'll get one a little bit darker this time. There's the next one. There she goes. Yeah. All right. I don't have much hope for this one either. Here she goes. Ready? Hmm. That's getting a little redder, isn't it? A little bit more going on there, but still, there's no chance in heck that that would explode. But it's very strong. I can really smell the uh, sulfur in there. Whoo! All right. Enough for that one. Okay, so far we've tried this one, and we've tried this one. You see this one's a little bit darker. So let's go ahead and we'll do this one. I think this one might be reactive. I'm not sure, at least a little bit. And lastly, we'll do this one. So that gives us a good sample of what we have here. The others are kind of in between, so I don't think they're going to do anything. But this one and this one, we might get something out of. Let's give her a shot. Oh, by the way, I'm going to show you what real black powder does um, in a few minutes at the end of the video. All right, let's get the next one I just showed you. This might have a little bit of reactivity to it, so we'll be a little bit more careful with this one. There we go. Okay. 
Shield your eyes. We're going in. Hmm. Nope. Can't even get a blowtorch to make that go off. I thought that one might have a little something to it. But no danger there. All right, we'll get the last one. It's burning. See, it's burning a little bit, though. So there's a little bit more to it. Let's be a little careful with that. All right, here we go. Now, if any of them are going to go off, this is going to be the one right here. This is the darkest of them and kind of the finest, too. There's a few chunks in there, but... All right. Here we go. I'm so scared. Hmm. Boys, he is, is trying. Look at that. But still, there's no way in heck that cannonball would ever explode. Even if you uh, did something stupid with it. Well, maybe if you threw it in a fire, it might. Because it's, it's trying to go. See, it's burning. right? Look at that. It wants to go. I heard it's kind of popping and sizzling a little bit, so. Eh. Now, that's not going to go. But you have to be careful now, because some of the shells have what they call water cap fuses on them, water cap, and uh, they can be very dry inside. Those are the kind they use down around the coast, the gunboats. So you have to be careful. That would almost explode, but it's not going to. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you what real black powder, well, let's do this. Let's see if the, uh, what the tar looks like, put a little bit of heat to it. Ooh, that burns. Look at that. Oh, I love that smell. Man, that's awesome. It smells like uh, asphalt. Yeah, so that'll burn, and that's just the tar. Let's look at the sulfur. This is the sulfur out of a cannonball. Let's see what it does. Well, I'm going to use a smaller piece just in case it does catch it on fire, because I want to save that big piece. Yeah, see, it's still burning a little bit right here. We'll get rid of that. All right. A little piece of sulfur. Let's see what it does. Ready? Woo, look at that. Caramelizing. Oh, that smells wonderful. Isn't that neat? Can you imagine this stuff exploding in a cannonball and this burning sulfur would be flying through the air and sticking to people kind of like, you know, the napalm. And that would cause tremendous burns just to get that on you. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and let that dry so I can save it. <coughs> oh, my God. Woo! Man, that stuff gets to you. Really strong in the nose. I'll go ahead and uh, show you what uh, real black powder looks like now. I'm going to go ahead and cool this off so I can save it. What well, hasn't already burned up? <coughs> Gosh, that's strong. Whew. That, my friend, is what a battlefield would smell like. I wish you could smell that. Well, it's just pure sulfur. You know what sulfur smells like. You know what this smells like. All right, let's get the real stuff. What I have here is a jar full of modern-day black powder. Now, this isn't exactly what the soldiers would have used. This is the modern-day equivalent. This is the same stuff that reenactors use in reenactments. And if you're a black powder hunter, which I used to be, this is what I used in my musket. So this has been sitting in my barn for 10 years also. <laughs> but I have a feeling it should be much more reactive than what I just showed you out of those shells. So we're going to put a little pile here and see what it does. You ready? I'm going to be much more careful with this one, though, because that would probably cause me some serious burns if this whole jar caught on fire. We're just going to put a little dab down here. Just a small dab. There we go. That's a little bit more. I'll make it exciting, huh? Okay. I'm going to put this jar way behind me so it's nowhere near me, and I'll come back and we'll fire the torch back up and see what this does. All right, my hands are really freezing, so I gotta do this quick. The uh, other bottle of uh, propane quit working, so. Okay, here we go. This is the modern day black powder, which they call Pirate X. Green actors use this, and also black powder hunters. So watch how reactive this is compared to what the old black powder that's decomposed in the shells uh, turned out to be. Watch this, ready? Close your eyes. Now, I would say that was pretty reactive, wouldn't you? <laughs> Let's go ahead and shoot that from a little further back. I'm not sure how that uh, how that turned out, but I'm going to move the camera back just a little bit, and we'll try it again. All right, let's try it from back here. 
You ready? Okay, this is what it should have looked like. Jeez. Cool. Cut my hair a little bit on my hand, that one. I think we should do a bigger one, what do you think? You guys up for it? I am. Let's do it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go over and light a bigger pile. There's not a whole lot on there. There's probably maybe about half as much as a normal Civil War artillery shell would have in it. Mm, yeah, about half maybe. But what I did is I used my axe, which I actually repurposed, and I put a little powder train out to the end of the handle so I don't have to get too close to it. This is going to make a big flash, and I really like to save my eyebrows because my wife will kill me if my face is bald when she comes home. Let's give her a shot. wasn't too exciting, but it's pretty cool. Gives you an idea what it sure to look like had the uh, powder in the shells been fresher. All right, there she goes, battlefield smoke. Awesome. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know some of you guys are going to be freaking out about playing with black powder, but you know what? It's perfectly legal. I mean, it's not safe to do this maybe, but it's not safe to you know put it in the gun and shoot it either. There's always danger, so just be careful if you do anything like this. Look at my axe. I hope I didn't ruin it. See where I had the powder on the handle? Nah, that's fine. God, it's already frozen. This is kind of neat though. If you look at this axe, this is the one I found in the river. And I use the split wood out here. And you see this line right here? And I'll tell you about that later. We'll see you next time.